time I welcome all of you to this new makeup tutorial day in which you will start the day full of energy wishing you nothing but the best my loves I'm inviting you to subscribe like and comment to my channel my friends uh, it is the way that my channel keep growing thank you so much I really, really appreciate it thank you for trying to understand my broken English I have a, a very strong accent and I promise you I will be uh, describing all of the product that I'm using for, to create this makeup tutorial. I welcome all of you as the table started already with a full full display of luxury product and we con are going to continue talking about the recent recent release from Christian Dior Plant the Palace. I'm going to make comparisons, demonstration of swatches and everything for you to have an idea. If happen, then you have similar color at home and you cannot afford this beauty. I'm going to be demo today from Christian Dior. Plan de Paris Collection Limit Edition. I was kind of speechless to see that the most of the company, makeup industry company, are already releasing product for the fall upcoming season so when we are not even you know done and join right where well, we have purchased already this palette is one of the four palettes from the plant bells collection is the 983 champs Elise. my face was done um, leopardy foundation and on top it is the concealer let me show you there so if you open this cup you have the concealer on the bottom this is the brush the shade I'm using is honey beige neutral warm 30 I did conceal my eyes with Pat McGrath in fetish sublime under eye perfection Blurring effect of I pick this gorgeous, beautiful shade from Benefit Cosmetic. Oh, I find that this shade, friends, is so beautiful. It's called Cookie Liner. I'm picking for the occasion Chanel Le Bres Crayon. And the shade I'm going to be using for today makeup look is going to be Oyster Rose. A little such okay so if for the palette champs the elises then we're going to use and I was explaining for the occasion of a lip lining and give it ten a little bit just in the cupid board and the outer peripheric area of my lips this is a beautiful ivory pearly shade Look at this, it's so stunning. This brings a lot of light. So for my eyebrows, friends, I picked Chanel, brand clear. This is there, is my shade. And the name of this uh, beautiful pencil is Stylus or Seals Waterproof. What I like from this pencil, friends, I can stay all day and the product is Namui and setting my eyebrows friends with Benefit Cosmetics as you know. I will be listing all of the products I'm going to be demo today on the description box below so you can have access friends if happen you want to use or if you like some of the product I'm demo today you can have access to that okay. Look um, I'm using this lip pencil brush I bought a set at Amazon so this is from the parents Shams Elises beautiful color story friends wow so I'm going to proceed my friends and welcome you subscribe like and comment to my channel please and all of the videos 
All of my videos are found 4K using 70% of natural light and 30% of artificial light and coming from my sleigh station. The background light you see are coming from my windows, okay? So it's a tiny little bit of artificial light just to give a little balance, okay? I'm going to proceed and start swatching this product, Champ Elises. Is a new new collection from Christian Dior. This is the very first shade. This palette, in my opinion, is the softer of all of the palette and being the move from Christian Dior. This is with two swatches. Because the first one is very weak, the very first two have the texture of a shimmery. I couldn't say glittery, friends, because I don't see any flying particles over there. And by the experience on the first two palettes, I already demo this product doesn't need any primer to get sustainable in your eyes. And it's a very long wear. So here, is this stunning beautiful shade super super silky creamy and it had pink mauve situation happening burgundy over here let us see how this translate on the arm look at this beauty oh wow this is so pretty, friends. Champ Elises. Okay. It's a Quint limited edition. This formula is completely new. You haven't seen this formula from Christian Dior before. And I'm going to proceed and make comparisons with some product. I bought it last year, okay, and they have been permanent edition, okay, and I'm speaking about Girl Lane 530 Majestic Rose. Look at this beauty, friends. Majestic Rose. But we can see if there is some similitude, it happened. You have this palette at home, my loves. So Majestic Rose come from Guerlain Parrots with four shades. I'm going to proceed and make the swatches. The formulation, very creamy. And I can see this shade, which is the lightest rose, super similar. Texture wise to the very first two shades from Christian Dior. Let us start with this kind of burgundy shade over here. Okay, the shade from Christian Dior is way more pigmented. This is my second swatch over there. This is stunningly, stunningly. Plum shade actually is not bargain difference. It's a beautiful plum shade. Wow. Then to this beautiful icy pink from Girl Lane. Let me put a little bit more. It's gorgeous, friends. I hope that you can observe that. So the very first shade from, Chris, from Christian Dior, let me show you, had a lilac baby pink shifting. This is the one that is hard to pick up on my arm, but I hope friends through the screen, you can actually see it. Guerlain is more like a pink, just pink, easy. This one is a pink lilac 
reflective, beautiful, shimmery shades. Oh my, in action. Okay? Look how gorgeous they are, friend. Oh my goodness. You can see the difference there, huh? Wow. I have one more palette. This one from Chanel. Remember, 88 Coral Treasure. This past year release that was a boom because of the shade. A lunch that happened this past year, Les for Hombres. I hope that you remember. These are the swatches, okay? So it's a pink, it is an icy pink, shimmery, very similar to this one. Okay, and the only difference that this palette from Chanel France came with two peachy corally shades. This is Chanel Champ Elises and Guerlain Paris. So the next one for this demo is going to be this beauty from Hermes. Ombres Petalis. You remember this recent lunch this past year for summer? Oh my. One of the most stunning productions along with Prada. Because I can't leave Prada on a side. Prada for me is it is an unique palette because of the technology that they use on the production of that product. The texture on Hermes, I'm swatching right now, are super soft, super silky, friends. Just the matte it is to the touch, is a little bit bumpy, but this is what we have. One other thing that I really was very admiring that every single of the palette from Hermes last year summer collection come with a silver or something similar to a silver. And this is the pink. It is that kind of pink that I call like a hybrid because it had a little pink, a little peachiness on it. Okay. Then we have this gorgeous silver, super creamy, texture-wise. Then we have this shade, friends. It's like a deep plum. If we have to compare it with this very, it's super light and bright plum. This one is really deep. This soft beige, okay? It's very imperceptible, it's like a pale rose. But what hurt me in an hour is this silky from Hermes. So happen friends. Can you have any of this palette at home? And you would like to see the performance on Plan de Paris Champs Elises. This is Champ Releases. One thing is to see the product on the hand. Another thing is, it is to see the product on the eyes. Performance wise, this palette, friends, are the most exotic thing I ever seen. The color are true to how you see on the palette. The color doesn't fade, doesn't produce any fallout. By saying this, welcome you to a new tutorial. Any of these palettes are highly recommended. The only new thing that I have to say that Christian Dior uh, Champ Elise, it is a new formulation, an information regarding performance wise on this palette. Okay. In the meanwhile, we are going to be doing this eye. We are speaking about uh, Champ's Elise's and I'm going to proceed with a burgundy shade using this high precision brush you can use any brand so far then you start working with your little brushes 
the first stamp of the application of your eyeshadow friends always start from more or less the middle if it is the case you are going to be creating a wing or cut eye on your eyes okay so I'm coming from more or less the middle of my eyelid or pupil and building the shade outward with the emotions okay as you see so the application goes like a in a certain angle and I'm using this plum shade over here okay so it is a process friends normally you see me working a lot with having motions instead of being blending the product right away everybody have a different technique but since I, I want to build saturation on the eye on the outer on my eye as you can see I'm tracing a wing okay so for that reason the blending is coming until the very end okay one of the thing um, on this shade friends I didn't present any type of fallout okay which makes me really happy so as you see I continue looking at this eye because I really need you know more or less I'm sorry to try and mimic you know what I did on this other eye so with a, a long blending brush from Refair and the number is 15 and the very little one is 02. I love it for those kind of precise applications. So now friends is when actually I start pushing and working with this beautiful shade, okay? I think it is Chate France, it's just beautiful, very pretty. So now friends, I'm going to proceed to apply this shade, this one, because I don't have a transition shade matte on the palette. So I need to start on that specific color. I'm going to dip with the same brush, the 15, into that pink. And I'm going to start applying the pink all the way. The same direction, right? This chai friends is super super glittery. Oh my. The reflection on this shade is very pretty. To a difference to the other palette. The other two palettes I've been working with, big difference. The particles on this one are way bigger, okay? And uh, it happened you got or you are going to get this palette specifically, this one, friends. I really encourage you um, to get a primer, okay? I will never lie to you for more than I love a product yeah definitely the particle on this palette formulation palette is something different from what i'm seeing in little and what i saw so far on the other palette montagne and next my friends i'm going to proceed to apply the center shade which is this it looks like a lilac okay so i'm going to apply this a little bit tiny bit on the center Let us work with another precision brush. I'm going to dip into this white, icy white shade here. So this is going to be mainly on the inner, okay? This shade is beautiful, friends. Super gorgeous.
So I'm packing the product first, okay? And this shade is going all the way here, okay? A very creative makeup look, friends, okay? The product, the shade is just beautiful, my friend, what I can tell you. So now, with the blending brush, mm -hmm. I love doing this. The makeup look is very easy. It's kind of messy. Well, not messy, but creative. So as you can see, the light I'm creating is very pretty. You see what I'm doing? So I go run rounding here. Just yes, in a very messy way, connecting this other shade here, and just going around with the extras. I'm going to grab a tiny little bit of Natasha Danona, this shade, Ivory. Maybe this help. Oh yes, okay. Spontaneous here. It is enhancing the chimmer shades. They are very pretty. So it was just nothing. It was just a tiny little bit. So with my finger friend, I'm going to graft into the white, which is this beautiful icy pink. And I'm going to keep working just for connection. Oh, it's so much you can do with this palette. And let me tell you, you don't have to use all of them, okay? I'm doing it because I want to show you how the palette. And this icy white, it is interesting because have pink shifting. It's very pretty, friends. Gorgeous. And now, with uh, the 1.5 millimeter from Hourglass. The mechanical pencil. I'm going to apply it on my upper waterline. So now, with my tone four, I'm going to start creating an eyeliner. Both eyes are sisters, don't forget that, okay? Not twins. So don't ever forget that and don't be so hard on you. That's it. And we let it dry. So that way when you blink, you're not going to smear the product all over. I think, my friend, that the palette is just beautiful. And now using Chanel, a vice, remember this blue? I still not receiving my cobalt blue that I just ordered because come on stock from Dior. So I'm going to Apply the on my waterline from the outer to the center of my waterline. Okay, my friend, I have to increase a little bit the light because it's getting kind of cloudy outside, so I was barely seeing a good, you know, image um, through the screen, but. This is what I can do using all of the shades from Champs Elise palette. I did a very creative makeup look, friends. 
You don't have to use all of the color and do something super kind of dramatic and makeup look. But it is mainly for you to observe the work done, okay? So little details are not done yet, but I want to touch bases with you that I did use falsettos from Scott Barnes. Unfortunately, these eyelashes are not available any longer. Colors glue, latex free. I highly recommend all the time because this is hypoallergenic for people with sensitive type of eyes. You can find this at Amazon in my lash applicator. I did use Christian Dior Natural Bronze. I'm using 0410 Bronze. So, for the purpose of this makeup look, I'm going to be using this beautiful, gorgeous blush that was launched last year. Look at this, Jay, friends. It's 962 Poison Matte. Look at that. Beautiful. If I like something from Christian Dior, friends, and the product are made to be built, okay? It's super pretty. So I'm going to apply it with this dense powder brush if you know your face and you can afford to use large brushes why not so again going with dabbing motions okay it's a matte shade as you can see it's not going to give you the craziest stain okay so you can be confident and you keep building the product is super gorgeous friend the shade oh my so i'm just trying to apply it a little bit on the apple on my cheeks oh the palette friends the palette is so beautiful so again poison matte from christian dior last year release I love it. It's so beautiful and come with that little brush applicator. This is one of my favorite shades. And for my face friends, for a tiny little bit of glow, I ordered this controversial product because I was saying no long time ago how disappointed I am friends when people are talking about certain product and they talk ugly friends ugly and um and i was thinking okay i've been watching videos of natasha danona using this product that is infused with so many skin caring friends as you have no idea it's a product f uh, that is manufactured in italy skin care infused glow beautifying this is how this product come and I ordered the zero one light so what we are going to do with this for all my ladies that are wondering then why that product this product have a very low rate so this product friends is to bring luminosity I'm not going to do highlighter because actually I'm going to be buffing this beautiful powder one touch look one touch on the face look how much the complexion change it happened you don't want to use highlighter friends you just buff it turn a little bit and look how alive your face look we are speaking here about another product that in my humble opinion is being very misunderstanding. It's natural, it's not a really metallic, it provides a beautiful glow. It's a must go, friends, don't be afraid. It's a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful, fine product. And I'm going to make a swatch 
Look at this. Let us do it here. Look at this. But look what happens when you diffuse the product. Literally, all what it gives and provides is luminosity. Look how soft and delicate it is. So, depending on how I move my face, is the reflective light you're going to get from this stunning product, friends. Wow! For my lips, Champs the Roses from Christian Dior and Champ Elise. is a satin finish this color friends is a must go is a must have in the collection for the only reason friends it is so it's like a, those kind of uh, chameleon shades because I did um, a Letoil palette which is all blues and the color look stunning I would like to add that on the center of my waterline, if you can observe very close, I did apply Dolce & Gabbana, the blue, right in the middle. Okay, so because of the Chanel, it's beautiful, but it's, it was not giving me um, the payoff I was wanting for that pop of light. You are working with product and all in a sudden the product doesn't want to stay from Pat McGrath. You can find it at patmagrath.com or Sephora. Okay? Artistry one. Final thoughts, friends. The new collection, recent collection from Christian Dior, Plan de Pelis. I present it. This is the very the third one. From the collection to demo what i just demo was a very easy eye makeup look not really complicated uh, had a little bit of precision but nothing you cannot accomplish this is what my channel is here you want to learn something new friends you are in the right channel any question regarding this beautifulness from christian dior and recent lunch plan the palace my friends Oh my, I couldn't be more happy. And the other thing I want to tell you, friends, the lipsticks are so stunning, friends, are so gorgeous. Look at this shade that I'm using today. I'm going to proceed and order, you know, at least one more. So this is three out of the four palette. I hope that you really enjoyed the demos I did with past releases, friends. Please subscribe, like and comment on my channel, please. So, this is the way that my channel keeps growing. I really appreciate to have you with me today. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for the time you invest in my channel. Thank you for believing in my work. Not all the products are going to produce the effect that you are looking. Makeup is all about preference. Whatever that doesn't work for me maybe it's going to work wonders for you right but it's not a meaning that the product is bad i think natasha Tanona, one more time friends did an stunning amazing job creating this illuminator look at the glowy that is happening on my face i haven't used any highlighter today the liquid eyeliner are stunning look I did apply it on the waterline friends wow not many eyeliner can actually stay on the waterline because that is a, an area in which you can have a lot of uh, a moist humidity going on every time that we blink right and I love you all know your worth love yourself makeup is not to change who you are is to enhance your beauty this channel is for you Thank you again. God bless you and I let you go. Thank you for staying this time with me. I love you. Bye.